together a little bit. So like, yeah, there's there's a lot of really viable characters in here. It just kind of uh, you don't get to see it quite as often when you got people like Sam Sora, Mars, MK Leo, and Tweak just dominating uh brackets left and right <laughs> yeah it kind of makes you wonder like what character is more viable bracket wise than online wise in that space you know yeah right all right but we're gonna get get a hot start here from ned real quick uh kind of what i expected to see you know ned it was in a very good contested set earlier in the night uh get sharp he ended up dropping three one but he looked good throughout it Yeah, good on it to go for a quick up throw, just so we can try to get a sneaky little more co combo there. I mean, not much of a big one, just a small confirm for percent. Mm -hmm. But right now, you got a pretty good percent lead right here. Oh, what a beautiful lead from Ned as he finds the roll in on that up smash. He just absolutely eliminate that first stock. Beautiful. Yeah, good. Excellent that chase from Ned. Definitely demonstrating of like how to definitely lay on the pressure what's going on, especially when you know what moves can definitely help you in tech situations. Yeah, Ned is actually um, one of the most well-rounded Pokemon trainer players I've seen. Like, there isn't one of his uh, Pokemon that just outshines the rest. I'm not... Maybe that makes it sound like, oh, it's just like he doesn't have a super specialized one. But I'm just trying to say, like, all three of his Pokemon are very, very good. Like, yeah. I think he's one of the people that could actually use one of the Pokemon for a stock and actually just, just kill you. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I, I get what you're trying to what you're trying to say. Basically, he can adapt to any situation. It's not like any Pokemon is a is necessarily a a weak link in any matchup. I guess. Yeah. Now, Ned Ned definitely is uh, a, a consistent player, very talented Pokemon trainer, uh, and that's the thing is like not only do you have to be like talented with you know just some of the better Pokemon like you know in whatever situation, but you have to be talented with all three, and to be able to do that definitely shows how much you shine as a character, being able to adapt to several play styles. Yep. Oh, good on him to use the flare blades just to try to come back a little bit from that angle. And he also gets yeah. some Pikmin out of the way as well. Yeah, that was a really good idea. Destroy the Pikmin and then go at an angle that Almar has to take a big risk to try to edge guard. Yeah, it kind of goes out kind of the way you said, Stripes, right? Being a master of all three, but also just being well rounded is going to work dividends. Wow, good forward. You kind of caught him on the start up there. Yeah, we're gonna see the Ivy Sword come out to play. I guess tried to get a little bit of extra credit. I mean, that's not, that doesn't matter too much. You're up a whole fresh stock, and now you got Squirtle in the play again. Fresh percentage, both characters. He's definitely gonna get some damage going in here as long as he can find his openings. Definitely. And uh, Ned is just very cognizant of the Pikmin as well. He's either blocking them or immediately uh, killing them when they're on it. Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, MFA, gotta be careful. I see Neza fishing for it. Those tilts, he knows if he misses that tech, man. That jab lock is dangerous. The jab lock, of course, smash kills so early, especially compared to like Alma. Hey, good right. stuff so far. Uh, MFA is doing a pretty solid job, kind of making a little bit of a comeback here. This is gonna get a bit tough now because you, even though uh, you've got Pokemon trade at eighty-six percent, you are now dealing with a Charizard who has amazing kill power and two up smashes in a row. Is actually what's going to be able to put MFA away as Ned goes up one zero in dominant fashion. Yeah, that was such a strong game from Ned. Um, again, all three Pokemon incredibly, incredibly strong. There wasn't. I don't know. I just feel like he knows what to do with each Pokemon in, in this matchup. Like they're they're all playing their purpose really well. Yeah, we kind of saw that. seems to be struggling on all fronts, really. We kind of saw that in some of his matches earlier too. Like he kind of knows when to kind of switch on and switch off, and what's the right opportunity. I mean, when you think about a lot of good Pokemon trainers, I know we also have Pandarian as one of them. We haven't I haven't seen him too much in the online space. I know he was on one of the recent like random. I think he was in Flat Zone, the uh, Maestro tournament, like about a week ago. So I know he does. He was there, but like when I think about another Pokemon trainer, definitely Ned comes to mind. He, like you said, right, super strong at using all three Pokemon, but also very good at awareness of what situation each Pokemon is more built for. Especially when it comes to using characters and switching off between Squirtle and Ivysaur. Knowing that is very crucial because Squirtle may be the combo monster, but he's still very light and super susceptible yeah. to be taken out early. Ned and Tweak when you play Pokemon Trainer though, or like they're the people that will use Squirtle at like almost 200% yeah. and not switch off. 
Just because like they're just that confident in their movement to where they just won't get hit. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing is like Squirtle is just so crazy in his damage output that it's kind of worth it sometimes as long as you're able to stay elusive and you know what Squirtle does that <laughs> yeah. really really well. Yeah, I definitely like the Squirtle to start against Olimar just because again, Olimar's uh, disadvantage is not the best. So it's really not that difficult for Squirtle to just combo his character. Oh, oh my goodness. Luckily for him, uh, MFA that is, uh, not sure if he DI'd the F tilt. That's F tilt, right? Yeah, that's his F tilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if he DI's up, oh, never mind. He didn't DI up that time, so he dies. <laughs> <laughs> if you DI it up, uh, you can tech it a lot easier. But if you do no DI or DI it down, then yeah, very easy. There we go. Good stuff. Yeah, MFA starting to get a little bit of something going here. It's a little bit late, but you know what? Better late than ever. You still got two stocks. It's plenty of time to make a little bit of a lead there. They should have probably gone with the, uh, the grab before the uh, Pikmin toss, but you know what? Sometimes stuff happens. Still got a lot of options here. But now you're kind of in a tough spot. But okay, never mind. <laughs> Gonna be able to get back to stage, uh, no problem. Yeah. Ned's also paying attention to um, the up smashes on shield. A lot of times people will get hit by a smash, block it, and then immediately think they can just run in and punish, but you kind of can't. <laughs> so yeah. you, you kind of have to respect that they're throwing out on your shield. I think Net recognized that a lot of times. Watch out, though. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how they get back to stage. Gonna use Fly to get back up there. Oh, no, just a good air dodge. And again, gonna use that Nair to kind of put pressure on MFA, building up a bit more damage. We got a full rage charge art. It's one of the most scariest things in the game. Still not going to be able to die. MFA nice. could lose the stock here if not careful. I really like that angle on the flare blitz from Ned. Just get all the way to the other side of the stage. Okay. Oh, he's trapped on the platform a little oh. bit, but there's a spot dodge down smash. Ned thought he had an opening, but a spot dodge coming in clutch. Still, though, really big lead here. Oh, good stuff from uh, Ned so far. Going right to the Squirtle. Actually used the Pikmin to extend his down smash. I think it's kind of trying to see if uh, MFA would roll in. Uh, not going to be able to get it, but still just the, the thought and the idea of being there is uh, definitely shows that Ned is, is certainly thinking in this matchup. Yeah. Very impressive. I think going to use that water gun to try and put some pressure on the MFA, pushing him off a little bit. Yep. Ned... Seeing that uh, MFA is kind of just facing out the Pikmin. Not really trying to force any approaches here, just continue to play patiently. Great, Great tech. tech. Yeah, Great tech. needed that to stay alive, but sneaks in the order. I think he caught MFA trying to go for a grab. And oh my sure, goodness. Yeah. He, did, he was able to shark him underneath that platform though, so I mean, super good stuff. You gotta be careful on those platforms at higher percentages. You, you're so open to so many moves. Great punish. Man, that is. He's so good with Squirtle. I mean, he's good with all of them, but like, yeah. his Squirtle is so scary. He's basically played like Squirtle about 80% of this game right now. God, his movement is so good. He's just absolutely dancing around MFA. Any option MFA really tries to get going, Ned either finds a way to just get around it and ooh, what a read gonna be able to take that final stock with that up smash. Ned going up 2-0 again in dominant fashion. MFA needs to figure out a new game plan and quick because it'll be over before you know it. That was huge, man. It's like such a hard call out too, especially because uh MFA is like been missing the tech a lot. So to instinctively already just have the up smash if they tech roll in, that's just man. Too many hard reads for me. <laughs> and there was a lot of hard reads. Now, Ned is definitely inside MFA's head. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what MFA's got left in him to find a way to turn this around or something, but ooh, it's going to be a tough one for sure. Yeah, I mean, I just kind of assume like Ned really uh, practiced in this matchup and is kind of showing how he's approaching Olimar in this, this set so far. Yeah, the thing about fighting Squirtle, I tell people in my eyes, is like, you know, man, usually you want people to switch off Squirtle because, like I said, die is really early, super small, kind of hard to deal with, so kind of your aim of the game here is to deal enough percentage 
to get your opponent to switch off Squirtle where they know like, okay, I'm at death percent if I keep going Squirtle. Time to switch Ivysaur. And at least you can kind of hit Ivysaur in a lot of situations. So when your opponent doesn't switch to Ivysaur and they see Squirtle, in my case, I'm usually way more scared because I'm like, damn, he's not going to switch off. That means I have to deal with this Mario-esque combo character a lot longer. Yeah. That's what makes uh, Ned so good that he doesn't, like, he doesn't mind just fighting with Squirtle even when he's at high percent because he's just really confident that he can just avoid getting hit while continuing to apply pressure as we see. So uh, let's see. Let's see if MFA can even force Ned off a of Squirtle for a majority of the time because like, obviously our Charizard, all of them are definitely will rather fight those two. They're oh, big yeah, enough to get hit by a lot of what he wants to do. Especially Charizard, too. He's just a big hurtbox to Alomar, but when it comes down to Squirtle, who's roughly the same size, can do a lot of combo. Oh I think God. this matchup was built for Ned and Squirtle at the same time. I don't know why in my head, like, I was like, he's going to die this up, B. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I just <laughs> thought he was Mario for a second, because that looked like some, some Mario stuff right there. Either way, starting off the match with a huge 60% combo, definitely how you want to uh, strike some fear into your opponent, I would say. But MFA is a decent spy here. Yeah, but here we go. Ned's going to start getting some of that offense going. Let's see what the option is here. Got some Pikmin putting on some damage, but that's fine. He's looking for some sort of move to get that Pikmin to fall off. Going to get yeah. a Nair to send MFA right back off stage, though. Ooh. Down tilt. down tilt. Yeah, beautiful down tilt. I did not know that move killed. Uh, it almost killed last game. It just, uh, I think MFA just had a really good DI on it. But yeah, I'm just as shocked as you are. <laughs> Again, we're seeing Ned full confidence in the Squirtle. Has not really seen a reason to, to switch that much. But yeah, there it is. For the recovery. To recover. Yeah. Let's see if MFA finally gets a chance to get a kill here that he, now that he switched to Ivysaur. Oh, great Razor Leaf into that forward air. Kind of very similar to how you see characters like Young Link in the last game, right? Leading with full or with Boomerang to get into a confirm. Yes. All right. He has really great Razor Leaf combos a lot of time, but messing that one up, allowing MFA to get a chance to sneak in with the up smash. And now Squirtle's back to play. Here even uh, yeah, even in disadvantage, MFA is just trying to like swing aerials, but the nature of the Pikmin like kind of being items, he's just clanking with the aerials, so it's not really stopping Squirtle. Right. Yeah. No, Squirtle's definitely going to find uh, a lot more options than Alamar is, just throwing out some aerials here and there. And uh, Ned again, just doing such a great job, just finding his ways in. Okay. All right. A little bit off from MFA. Though. Could take a lead here. Yeah, good job from them, though. Also taking the fact that, you know, I can actually Vine Whip under the stage and get rid of the Pikmin at the same time. I might as well take the time to do that. Oh, no, the down smash. <laughs> yeah, he, was, he had that read, though. Yeah, yeah he, he wanted he the air dodge, so I, I respect it. It would have killed. Gotta be careful here. Yeah, because that purple smash attack, man. Even Charizard is going to die to that move. So strong. And now this is, like, the best lead that MFA has had the entire set so far. Let's see if he can, you know, take it all the way. No sweet spot on the down smash. Even though he does roll, he's not going to die here. Okay. The ledge invincibility goes high. I still don't think he can grab the ledge here. Oh, that was a little bit too slow. Oh, nice. Ooh, can it cancel F tilt? So strong and covers a lot of distance as well. Still with the lead, MFA is... Trying to push it as hard as he can here. I like the decision to just not make the opening easy for Neg. We already saw how good he is at common with Squirtle. He doesn't want to take 60% for free here. Okay, nice up air string. Force him off the stage. Ooh, but there's the big up smash out of shield. Squirtle, super light. So he's super close to dying here. Wow, amazing match. Oh. But Buffers, the withdrawal. Luckily, he makes it back to the stage, though. Okay. Let's see what Ivysaur can do here. Double Vine Whip through the ledge and makes his way back. Still Ooh, living. Good stuff. Oh, MFA has the blue up throw. I wonder if uh, Ned's looking out for that right now. He yeah, does have the rage. 
Yeah, and that does have the rage. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't oh imagine he really God. just sat there and stared at him like Dude, I thought he was baiting that spot dodge the way he was standing there, but he didn't do anything. He just dropped his controller for a whole second. <laughs> <laughs> I got scared for him at Fade in that situation. Cause he was like just standing there like waiting to for him to spot dodge, but he didn't do anything. Very scary. Rage Charizard at that position had a lot of uh, options to kill, but MFA does take that game. So now it's 2 1 in MFA, Ned's right? favor. Yeah. Yeah, Ned has uh, one more to win, but MFA has to win two. Did they input something wrong on Smash GG? It has. Was that game two or game three? I was game three. Yeah. I was All right, they got MFA taking game two on Smash GG. Yeah. It, oh. it's, it's probably yeah. It's probably just a bit of a delay. Okay. I'll just close out the the window here real quick. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's delayed. That's why I'm like, hold on. There we go, 2 1. Ready? Okay. So, MFA finally uh, getting a game in the set here. Definitely, when, once he was able to finally like establish a lead, looked a lot better for him. Let's see what he can do in this game, though. The up smash. <laughs> Easy 34%. Ned definitely looking for a way in, and it looks Ooh. like MFA definitely has some momentum going on right now. They have found a couple good options, building up some good damage. Yeah. Ned back on the offensive though. Oh, gonna run right into the up smash. Yeah, just keeping that purple in the lineup really working out well for MFA and uh, Ned there he has just been a lot of times just able to just bully his way in on uh, MFA's defense here but finally MFA ready for the up smash out of shield and now and yeah he's just racking up a lot of safe percent here just keeping that purple on deck the white Pikmin doing even more percent oh my goodness Ned is struggling to get something started here already at kill percent is this controller dying or something? I swear to God, he's just standing there a couple times. All right, gonna get back to the ledge. Uh, okay, with a little bit of problem. Oh there. my! From hey. full screen, and it was the it was the flarebus hitting the stage, not him getting hit directly, but it's still killed. You take, you take what you can get, and uh, right now Ned kind of needs it, man. We got oh Charizard on the screen, sitting about 171, full rage. Uh, Amar's got to be careful because he could find himself in a really bad spot here if Ned can get these openings. And here we go. That pressure happening. The flamethrower building up. If he gets a forward throw here, it, it, that's the stock. Yeah, it's very, very scary for MFA here. He does have the up throw, though. Oh, oh doesn't right. need it. Catching uh, Ned holding forward a little bit too much. Oh, big up smash. 23%. Double jab into the grab here. So much damage. Ned, man, he lost him for like two times. Already close to dying mm -hmm. with Squirrel right now. Yeah, MFA is really waking up. I don't know if his big brother's on the controller now or something, <laughs> but it, it is a much different game all of a sudden. Oh, yes. He's just catching Ned in shield now, just applying so much pressure, racking up all his percent, playing much faster as well. Uh, yeah, Ned's kind of just getting overwhelmed right now. And I, I really like the uh, switch in between like aggressive and defensive for MFA. Oh, he yeah, had no Pikmin, so he <laughs> wasn't able to get the free F smash to kill. And now, last stock, that Charizard F tilt always I coming in clutch. 
I think it's a smart choice going with the Ivysaur. Uh, Ivysaur here at the end. We have not seen a whole lot of Ivysaur. Uh, Squirtle, while it has been good to get some good damage on this set, it seems like MFA is on to the game plan. So we'll see if Ivysaur can get in here, get some damage. Not going to get too much as we're going to see the switch to Charizard. 128. Got a little bit of rage. Uh, still a big problem. I mean, we already saw him die to a Flare Blitz once just randomly. Uh, I'll have to see if he can get some damage going, though, because this is looking very well in MFA's favor. Yep, he's keeping the purple and the blue in the rotation just for situations like that. Great, great game for MFA. It's really hard uh, adaptation, I would say. So a lot of things that Ned was able to get away with with Squirtle in the previous games just got shut down really hard. Right, right. Yeah, uh, super, super good stuff from MFA. Uh, what looked to be a sure set for Ned in the beginning here going 2-0 uh, is now in a dangerous spot as MFA is looking to take a game five here if Ned can't find a way to turn this around. Yep, that would be the reverse 3-0 for MFA if he's able to pull this one off. And so far, man, it's just, I don't know, man. The adaptation is definitely there. Really want to see what Ned's going to change up here so he can uh, take this game five. Again, taking it back, Pokemon Stadium 2. All right. yeah, I guess really what Ned wants is just have a really strong first stock with Squirtle, like he was able to in the first two games. Nice. Oh, wasn't able to extend that as much as he wanted to, but does get opportunity to push him off stage. I really like the drift back there into the neutral air. Yeah, force the switch to Ivysaur here. Oh, so close. And it's really crazy because, like, I was I was just about to say, yo, it, it seems like Ned's back to form here. He's got that good hot start with uh with Squirtle, and then all of a sudden MFA now has the lead percentage-wise and nearly had a stock just... Maybe a missed uh, edge guard or something like that, but just the amount of pressure he was putting on him was absolutely insane. Up smash not going to kill. Kind of insane, to be honest. Yeah. I'm just amazed that he was able to get that up smash out of shield to work against Olimar's up smash. Normally, the shield stun on that is really hard to get away with. But opportunity kind of getting pressured in the corner of the stage. And honestly, I don't blame him. That purple Pikmin made things so scary for him. Now you look at the kill with the down smash. Trying to make this edge guard happen with Ivysaur, but man, MFA just somehow sneaks past all of that. Yeah, nice. MFA is just playing on a whole nother level now. Uh, <laughs> they are definitely playing a lot more aggressive, and it is definitely working out as they build up damage. Looking Ooh. for a lot of extra credit here. That'll be a good little bit right there. 52%, 70%. God yeah. damn. Yeah, he finally gets that backer to work, but man, Ned just took so much percent, and now he's forced to switch to Squirtle here, where he can die to so many things. Yeah, I, I mean, I really wanna... if you're really just trying to get that uh, that damage going, nice parry, but the second jab going to be able to knock him out of there. And here we go, we're going to be getting some of that damage. This is what Ned needed, a good 40%. Great Razor Leaf as well, but none of the Nair hits connecting, unfortunately. That would have been a huge opportunity to get an edge guard. Still sticking with the Ivysaur here, though. He wants the Razor Leaf to cut through these Pikmin, find an opening that way. But, oh. yeah, unsafe forward air. Now here's the Charizard. Again, MFA is just swinging the purple aerials. He knows it gets so much reward if he can get it to hit. Oh, wow. Ned. Ned got, MFA. Yeah, Ned got very greedy with that up smash out of shield, giving MFA the opening you need to get that up smash to work. Oh, no, no platform drop up there. Still opportunity to get this stock without taking too much. Here we go. Yeah, man. MFA is just continuing to pile on this damage. This won't die. Going to see the up throw here. That's going to eliminate that stock for sure. All right, only 49% now. This is definitely doable for Ned, but boy, what a turnaround this set has been. I thought Ned for sure was going to be able to close out in three games just watching the way he was playing. And MFA is just... Like coming alive. Yeah, but great parry from Ned. Complete corner carry with the Squirtle combo now. Okay, keep him at the ledge where he wants him. But yeah, okay, Ned is not shielding these purple uh, Pikmin tosses. And it's just giving 
Yeah. MFA so many openings. Oh my goodness. Not getting a opening. Yeah, not getting hit by the spot dodge down smash, but again, he's gotta be so careful. The purple Pikmin is is they're flying right now. Missed the tech oh, though. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all it takes. Ned, man, finding that F tilt jab block setup. Exactly what he needed to clutch out that game. Really, like really great option, stuff. Like, yeah, he went for that option like six times there at the end, and I don't, I don't know what, if MFM was just not picking it up or just felt like a lot of pressure. But yeah, I swear, Ned went for that like six times and was able to find it at the end, just <laughs> bullying his way in that game five to the victory. And now he's gonna have to take on so good pop and loser semis, and that should be a hell of a set.